Charles Barkley has game-changing ability, he hardly had the chance to show it against Croatia. It had been a positive night for Ross Barkley. He had just helped Chelsea knock Liverpool out of the Carabao Cup and was discussing his encouraging start to the season when, inevitably, the conversation turned to England. He took the inquisitions about missing the World Cup and whether he had spoken to Gareth Southgate in his stride before he was prodded with a question that could almost have doubled as a plea, can you be that player, Ross? Can you? There was a wry smile before a confident reply. It's down to me to show it, Barkley said. But, yes, I believe I can. Many others have long held that belief. There is story, for instance, from his time in junior football playing for Ash Celtic, the founder of that team, a wise old sage called Albie Haywood, confidently predicting Barkley, who was only eight at the time, would play for England as he had everything. Many who have worked with him will use those words. He has strength and size, he has a change of gear, close control, can shoot with both feet. More than anything, he has imagination. He is the kind of individual who should change game. He should be that player. With England, though, it has always been complicated and it hurt, really hurt, that he got no minutes at Euro 2016. His last cap for a variety of reasons, came on May 29, 2016 in a friendly against Australia in Sunderland, but, at long last, here he was again. His inclusion in Rijeka was one of the most intriguing elements of Southgate's team. Given that he was being asked to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with two of the best pass masters in the world, the spellbending Luka Modric and Ivan Rakitic, this would be a big test. Could he provide the fantasy to England's attack? The honest answer is that he never really got the opportunity. It wasn't for a lack of trying, but it was more to do with discipline. Barkley spent much of the evening popping passes back to his central defenders to ensure possession was never seated. It all started after 95 seconds. Before he had even gathered a pass, John Stones could be heard barking, keep it, Ross. Keep it. And that's what he did. A couple of moments later, there was a lofted ball back to Stones that may have appeared risk, but never looked like missing its target. Patrolling the left side of midfield, next to Eric Dyer, he scuttled about with diligence. A simple touch here to Harry Maguire, an easy ball there to Ben Chilwell. Really, though, you wanted to see him drive forward and feed Harry Kane in the way he fed Eden Hazard at Southampton last Sunday. But in the KG first half of this unique Nations League game, only four of the 35 passes he made went forward, and one of those, which was cut out by Domagic Viva, almost led to Croatia inflicting maximum punishment when they launched a rapid counter-attack. Things improved after the second half and Barkley looked more prepared to lift up his head and get England on the front foot, but it was one of those nights when it was nearly not quiet, something that never more apparent than in the 74th minute. When he exploded past Modric and switched the play with his left foot to Jordan Henderson, you thought this was the moment. Henderson helped the ball on and Harry Kane fired in, but, frustratingly, the captain had mistimed his run, and the goal was chalked. Barkley put his hands on his hips and looked to the sky. It wasn't to be, 